Well, we talked about uh, tension yesterday and uh, about uh, a sense of urgency to uh, push on, and uh, we are getting on, but this is what's happened today. The great British weather, that's what's happened. And I'm under shelter at the moment, but I'm gonna have to get back out in the elements very, very soon. And uh, it's just absolutely manic here. There's, there's a lot more. Some of the other companies on the inside have come in. They're doing their stuff, we can't park the van. Somebody's gonna ask us to move this van here in a minute. It's uh, it's crazy, but apparently it's brew time. Good morning, how are you? Well, well I'm used to this sort of weather. Yeah, this stuff, I'm, I'm from Wales. Well, it's fairly wet where we live all the time. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Um, all right, the weather today though means we can't do what we need to do today. So we can't get finished on a section. So the boys are sort of stuck still at the minute. Okay. So we're going to get behind. Can you, we'll be behind by that day. Can you get on with other stuff? Some of it, but not a lot. We're, we're sort of twiddling our thumbs. Aye, please. Uh, twiddling our thumbs on that bit. Once that bit's done, we move to the next bit. It's all like sequential. And just to clarify things, um, how many gardens are you building here? Yeah, uh, we're building four this year. Four? So Only four. four? Only four. So we're running four, but we've got four very good teams. So. I'm right. stood on one of the ones now with the dry stone wall is. Yeah. Tim. 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 Hi there, John boy. Good, yeah. good. Just getting the farmer in. Luckily, Tim's not as weather resistant as we are today. Resistant, weather dependent. Mm. Yeah. Can you just clarify what the gardens? What, what are the gardens? I just... So we're building uh, Laurel Lake de La Salle, which is this one. Um, lady from France. We're building Joe Thompson's, He's trying to contact me. which okay. is for Wedgwood. We're doing IKEA's for Tom Dixon, and then we're doing Montessori Children's Garden, which is one I designed. Okay. And we're doing it. So I've Fantastic. Taken my landscape head off and put the contracts down. Right, okay. You, look, you've done this for years now. What, what's what's the feeling like when it gets like this in, in the traffic management? Everybody running backwards and forwards, and people getting in each other's way. What, what what? How does it? How does it? Have you you know? Does people? They stay you blank it out, you just blank it all out. You blank yeah. it out as if it's never there and it's not there, and you just keep going, get your head down, and you've got your plan, so you just stay with the plan. And then right. every day is a day, all the blokes are good. So every hour's an hour, every minute's a minute. I right. split the day down into four quarters. First quarter you're getting your act together, second quarter you start ramping it up, third quarter after a light lunch, not a heavy lunch, because that'll right. blow you out, you speed up, and then the last quarter you really get going. I've noticed on the uh, the guy that I'm on at the GK Wilson, you boys go home by about seven. So that last hour is crucial. You get more mm. done in the last hour of the day than you do during the day. So if you split your day to four quarters, you can then gauge with a weather gauge how you're getting on. And that's a good way of managing, isn't it? Managing the day. Yeah, yeah day. absolutely. Four equal quarters. Yeah. You know, I think the thing is for me, you know, coming down here and working with people, we, we're all leaders, we all do our own thing, and I just got to fall into part of the machine, haven't I? I can't. The way I look at it, Johnny Boy, is like we, it's, when you come to Chelsea, it's like the England squad get together. Everybody works in their own club, yeah. they're top of the game in their own clubs, but then when they come together to play as a squad, it takes a couple of days for everyone to gel. Yeah. And then when that happens, we start kicking the ball properly. That's when we make And everybody it. starts gelling, don't they? Yeah, they have to find their, their way, don't they? Yeah. It takes I, time. I've got to ask, have you ever seen a garden really close to that point where it's not going to be finished? Or Yeah, we did one, but three years ago and as the judges came up the road we were we were we were we were painting on one side of the garden. Really? While they were coming up the other. Yeah. Did they know? Oh yeah. Was there any allowances? No allowances. There's no allowances is there? You don't come to this arena unless you're prepared to take a spank it. Yeah. Can you just just before you go now, I know yeah. you're busy, right, but they they do the assessment before the judging, don't they? They do the assessment but the assessment is the judging. Right, okay. The assessment is judging. And how many actually judge? How many people? Eight, maybe eight, eight. The right. assessors are three, then they're joined by a, a bigger group of judges. So the assessors are ones who will come on and look at everything with a fine tooth cake. They'll, and they'll make a recommendation for a minute. The judges will then go around independently around all the gardens and they will make their own notes. Then the evening before judging, all the notes are shared out and everybody's sort of got an eye on it. Then the next day, all the gardens are presented by the assessing team. Okay. So the assessment team only ever want to give everybody a gold medal. As the as the the criteria 
ever changed over the years? Where yeah, it's evolved. I think it's now evolved. it's evolved to a point where it's a lot more rigorous and a lot more democratic. Democratic it can't be led or steered by individuals or opinions. So right. it's points based. So it's very, very sort of follow the consensus. Then yeah, yeah, it's got a lot more transparent. And in comparison to other shows around the world, would you say that best one on the planet? Yeah. It is. And why though? Why, Jody? Why is it the best because one? Because it is. It's British, where it's, the, it's the pinnacle. Landscaping and gardening in England is, is what we do, mm. and we're the best. And this is the best where the best of the best come to apply their ways. And that's why they come all over the world to see what we do here. Mm. And, and the thing of it is, you're probably going to get, would you get 5% of the landscape industry get to come through these hallowed gates? So to be here is a bloody honour. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you thoroughly recommend landscapers to come and visit the and show as well? Hire it, visit it, try and crew up and volunteer for a day or two to come on it and, and just see it. Do you think, right. another question, you know, and obviously this interview is evolving now, do you think that uh, the RHS or Chelsea actually, though they have the landscapers that build these gardens, do you think they do a lot with landscapers? There's a construction award, isn't there, for best construction? Yeah. So there is an actual construction award now. Again, maybe you would argue not, but it's about the designer who designs the garden. Um, they could do more backstories on it, but to be honest, my opinion is if you're chosen to come here, it's an accolade. If you're paid to be a fairly bonus. So mm. we're, we just do our job and quietly do our job. And we know you know we know. Yeah, absolutely. We're the boys and the girls. Yeah. The designers are there waving their hands. I'm designing a garden this year, so I can put a designer on. It'd be really large dark. And I can say there's you know, open arms that a landscaper could build and design. Landscapers are designing every day in what they do. Problem solving. A designer can't go out and build a fucking garden, excuse my French. No, that's fine. Garden can't, you know, designers, some of them are good, a lot of them are shit. Hmm. And they come here waving their arms around and think that the bees need to they'll give any any sort of um, accolade to the contractor. But without the contractor they're completely screwed. Do you think they, they know this as well that they feel yeah but, yeah, but a lot of them have got like a lot of them will never let on, will they? No. There's some bloody good ones who really do lock in tight. This one's good. We're we're working with good, but you know, there's some out there and they know who they are. And they chew through contractors left, right and centre. And contractors get weary of them anyway, so Well, I really appreciate that's a real good insight to to, mm. to your view and you know because how long have you been doing these gardens here? I volunteered and slept in the van probably 20 years ago. Really? In the marquee for a big garden nursery, blooms of Bressingham, doing just pathways oh. and fences and whatever. And You've done your apprenticeship up here then, maybe, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got teeth. Mm. And I think that's important as well. It's all about tipping your cap. The thing is, in this line, you won't get a contractor who's been contracting for a year, coming and working at Chelsea, but you can get a designer who'll do a fancy loudy da design who'll get propelled to Chelsea with bugger all experience and suddenly they'll go from there and they'll be there but actually there's nothing to hold them up so they'll come here they might do one or two but if they can't hold it they haven't got the substance they just gently disappear whereas the contractor is a constant and they really grind it out a contractor really has to grind it out to get to the pinnacle of his his career I think isn't so it? Yeah. I think so and it's almost like CPD isn't it it's why wouldn't you want to prove yourself here why yeah. wouldn't you want to put yourself through it yeah, absolutely. You, yeah, you need Brilliant. to. It's an amazing experience, and everybody just mucks in and gets under it. Share, share the love. And just one more question, and then close this on now. Yeah. Do you enjoy talking to me? Do I enjoy talking to you? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm going to have a cup of tea now. Thanks, Joe. Right. Thanks very much. Bye. Well, there you are. That was from uh, Jody Lidgard, and he said it as it was. It was simple as that, and he was honest. And uh, the idea of these videos are, it are to bring you is to bring you. Uh, a real sort of a fly on the wall uh, situation and uh, you know see what really happens here and what people's views are on what they do here and uh, see it from another side going on here in the pavilion and uh, as you can see there's contractors everywhere there's a big gunner and manor carter over the back there but over here now if you look around here there is the Ikea garden that's the Ikea garden um, all come or come flat pack and uh, I'm not sure what it's going to look like but it's going to be covered in plants apparently let's see something very interesting going on here good picture
Here we have a Japanese contingency. I'm not quite sure what I can do now. I'm going to find out. We're going to reveal all later. Why am I the one smiling and you're not? <laughs> well, I'm Johnny Boy, and everybody knows who I am on YouTube. And you are? I'm I'm horse. Horse. I'm always, always living the dream. Of course. Of course. Horse. Of course. Traffic manager. What's it like here? Is it is it okay? It's Chelsea. Yeah. It what, what, what does that mean? It, it means that you've got to be mad to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> well, I'm getting to know you now. I know you are. Yeah. Okay. Living the dream. That's the problem. Chris. This isn't rehearsed. Look at it. But this is what you do every day, isn't it? It is, day in, day out. Yeah. And how many days a year would you say you have like wet days up in New Yorkshire? Do you have a lot of rain up there? Uh, we do, I. Uh. You do? Uh, I'd say probably about half of them. It's probably wet. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. about 30, well, something like 30%. You know. And where is the most of your work? Is it, 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 is it on... La farmland or you know or is it domestic situations uh, we do quite a bit in gardens you know I do yeah. a stuff in the gardens um, I've just been on a job recently that's been in the middle of a field and when it's wet like this you've got nowhere to shelter nowhere so, we got the cows you got the cows I keep you warm right? wow yeah and uh, you busy generally up there oh yeah definitely. all the time all the time yeah. it's so work Chris it's a, it's a slow process isn't it it is with this stuff yeah we have been so hard. And where you are locally, where you are up in Yorkshire? Uh, sandstone, it's, it's a bit uh, easier to cut, a bit easier to share. You know, you make stuff look a bit nice. Yeah, yeah. and the transition's a lot more quicker than what it is with this, because this is quite hard, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm. Do you like it? It takes a lot. I do like it, yeah. It's got lovely colours and stuff in it. Yeah. Um, well, a couple of guys come past the other day and said about that, didn't they? They did, yeah. yeah and this is from the, the peak. And, and, and it changes the colour when it gets wet. Yeah. So you get the wet look on it as well. It's also... Yeah, so ideally, would you say before the judges come around, it'd be nice to have a little shower, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Oh, we're going to do the walk again. This is the uh, the one with the uh, meandering wooden decking, stones in, plants going in. It's all happening. More trade stands down here. Didn't see this yesterday. The uh, treehouse in place. Looking good. This is the trade stand with the steam bending. So strange, isn't it, that... Uh, I talked about steam bending a few years ago, and I do a lot of steam bending myself. And I talked about the show Sugi Ban about burning wood, and guess what? It's all, it's all trending. It's been trending for a long time. This garden's coming on really good. They're doing a bit of filming over on there. This is a uh, landform. Mark Gregory's work. It's changing there now. What a nightmare for him to try and use mortar on a day like this. This is what it's like, you've got to step out of the way. Just want to show you this, this is totally epic. This is what uh, Mark has actually done here. This is going to be a real canal lock. It's, uh, it's all happening here. They're cracking on with it, rain or shine. Just changing on some of these. More trees, more plants. Look at that, a bit of screening. The screening even looks impressive in itself. A lot of brickwork being done here. Got the path in. You've seen that yesterday. Over in this garden, they've got the stone wall on the front there, dry stone wall in. Got a few of the garden here, got some lots of trees in there. A lot of filming going on today. That's looking superb, that is. 